Hi, I'm Chris Jones from Digital Infusion. Yeah, I'm Tom McCartan, VP Technology for Digital Infusion. And how do you see the industry trending when it comes to integrating large amounts of study data with genomic data and gaining meaningful insight? The industry is just changing so fast with all the different data that's now electronic, right? We have EHR data, we have real-world behavior data from mobile apps, we have you know, data about ourselves that we're collecting um, from wearable devices, we have uh, research data coming out of you know, systems like RAVE. So <clears throat> it's becoming very complex very quickly um, and trying to pull that data together so that it actually is part of a research protocol, part of a question, uh, understanding how we can learn from the data um, is going to be the challenge. Uh, it's, it's an overwhelming environment now with, uh, with all the data available for us to, uh, to speed research really and to speed the uh, therapies and cares that, the care that we can bring to patients. Yeah, and I think that, you know, what we have at Digital Infusion is a lot of different ways to be able to analyze um, large amounts of data, um, you know, for our bioinformatics group or for large amounts of data that we get from, like, Twitter to be able to do analytics on. And we wanted to be able to take that technology and apply it to study-type data. So, so taking the big data analy and knowing that the large can be many studies, you know, being um, uh, undertaken and coming into the system and we wanted to be able to take that type of technology, process it through known tools such as like Hadoop and MapReduce programs and provide meaningful insight on top of that data to clients. Yeah, I think, <clears throat> I think it's really about the questions that people are trying to, to answer and you know we, we work with different sponsors who are working on everything from you know is there a, a, a disease outbreak um, you know, in Asia that we need to track in the next 24 hours, um, real-time biosurveillance, um, looking at how uh, we can use research data to help patients understand what's happening with their disease over, you know, years and years. So, you know, those are the types of um, challenges that we, w we work on, and those are the things that really make a difference for um, the patients and the people affected by a particular condition or disease. So, you know, it's really, for us, applying technology to actually you know make it make a difference um, and and we're using the tools that, that Tom's talking about to try and do that. Thank you so much.